On today's video, let me show you how to make this super easy glitch effect in PowerPoint. What's going on guys? This is the PowerPoint Club and uh, thanks for stopping by. On today's video, let me show you how to make this weird glitch effect just in PowerPoint. It's kind of basic, but it gets the job done. You don't need After Effects, Photoshop, or any weird plugins. It's a really cool effect for your presentations, or even export slides to a video and use in a movie. Okay, so let's get started. Within a new slide, hit Insert, Pictures, and grab the image you want to glitch. Next, resize the image to fit the slide. Hit Picture Format, Crop, Aspect Ratio, and choose 169. PowerPoint will resize the image based on the slide size. Move and scale to fit the slide. Next, grab slide one, duplicate it by hitting Control D on your keyboard and make six copies. We need seven slides total. Slide two is where we start to add our glitch effects. Select the image and make a copy by hitting Ctrl D on your keyboard or pro tip with the Ctrl key pressed, click and drag to make a copy that way. Position the second image directly over the top, hit picture format and choose the crop tool. Crop the image into a small section like so, then move the image away from its original position. Duplicate your new crop and move it to a different position on the slide. It kind of works best if you position these new sections near their starting point. To move the image inside your crop frame, just hit crop again, you will see a greyed out version of your full image with the coloured area showing your actual crop. Move this up or down to show another part of the image. Keep duplicating and recropping, even move some sections off the screen. The idea is to get the image to somehow look broken, messed up or just gone bad. When you're happy with this, add some colour blocks. Hit insert, shapes and let's go for a rectangle. I'm pretty happy with that. By the way, you don't have to exactly copy my layout. Have some fun and try some different things that you think look cool. So on to slide three. Let's again use the crop tool to chop the image into random vertical pillars. Crop your image into something a bit like this. Duplicate it, control D or control click. I'm gonna make six, but you do whatever you think works. You can make them random widths, whatever you think looks good. Let's delete these two pillars, we'll replace these gaps with random images in a second. Again, moving the image within our crop to make it seem random.
grab a random image to fill these gaps, hit insert, pictures, and then grab any photo you like. It can literally be anything. Right click and send that to the back and then crop again to fill that gap with the section you think looks cool. Do that again for a second image. And that slide is done. Slide 4 should be easy for you now. Again using a crop tool, split the image in half, duplicate that crop and simply adjust the image within that crop frame. I'm going to go something like this, dead simple. Grab your image, control D or control click to make a copy position straight over the top, let's hit picture format and go to transparency. Put a transparency on this new image and drag ever so slightly to the right to give this weird kind of out of focus trippy effect. Duplicate this image, crop it in half, something like this, add a color wash to it. So hit picture format, go to color, Hit more variations and I'm going to choose this hot pink colour. Duplicate this, control D or control click. I'm going to crop it just a little bit. Again, changing the image inside the frame and just move it into the slide. Boom. Slide six is our last glitch slide. Crop tool again, this time crop the image into something like this. Duplicate twice and lay out into thirds. Randomize the image within each frame. Something like this. Again, don't copy me if you have a better idea. These are just basic guides. So duplicate these images and make smaller frames and place them around the slide. Duplicate these again, add some transparency effects and some colour wash like before. Try and get something like this. That's the glitching done. Next, we need to add some transitions to those slides.
select slide two, press shift on your keyboard and click slide six. This will select slides two to six. Hit transitions and choose none. Move over to duration and make this the smallest possible value, just to be sure. Uncheck on mouse click, hit after and change the value to all zeros. This will automatically move us from slides two to six in the fastest possible way. Slide one and six should stay on mouse click. The aim is really to make each slide behave as if it was a frame in a movie. Hit slideshow and see what we've got. Boom. So there you go, glitch effect in PowerPoint, no After Effects, no Photoshop. The final step is to add a glitch sound effect. I already have some sound effects downloaded, but don't worry, I'll put a download link in the description below along with this file for you to use. Select slide two, go up to insert, audio and audio on my PC. Grab the file that you wanna use, Move the audio icon off the slide. Hit playback. And check automatically and check play across slides. I need to trim the audio to fit the length of our slide transitions. Now I've cheated a little bit on this as I already know the timings for this particular transition. But have a play, it's super easy to do. Just use the start and the stop sliders. 150th of a second should do it for us. So with the sound effects added, let's see what we've got. So that's it guys. Animated glitch with sound effect, just using PowerPoint. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go nuts with this effect. Tag any of your efforts on social media with the hashtag the PowerPoint Club. I can't wait to see what you guys did with it. Hit subscribe, like and comment and more videos are on the way.